40 degrees out, but I'm still gonna bundle up because I don't believe in Mother Nature these days. Because one time I did believe in her, and I was like, oh, it's so warm out. And then I didn't wear like any layers, and I was freezing, not taking any chances. You can tell I have a lot more energy today than in my last videos. I don't know why, but I'm ready. Got my Eat Beef hoodie on Lincoln Bio. Oh. Well, of course, on my beanie, we have two new colors in the shop. Neon pink and neon green. <clears throat> Normally, I would bring this cute little thing to the calf barn, but I have a feeling it's going to be a chaotic night. So, I'm going to leave you here. Okay, so sit. Look at how good he is right now. Ready? Sit. Oh, my God. Stop showing me. Not good. Sit. Down. Shake. Wow, you're so good. The sun is shining. I'm at my parents' house right now. I usually go here in between my shifts because my house is 30 minutes away from the farm. I don't feel like doing all that driving. So, I am doing calves tonight, and you're like, probably like, what? Because I don't normally do calves. Like, that's JoJo's job. But I'm going to explain why. And it's kind of to do with the title of the video. But I'll get to it. <laughs> Before I go down to the calf barn, I'm making sure that nobody is calving. Which the site is clear so far. Coast is clear, I'm gonna say. No babies, okay. Now check that side too. Cows love to have their babies when it's warm out at least in my experience. So we usually have big baby blooms right when spring weather hits. So I have to be extra aware. Actually, I'm gonna keep it open. It's so freaking nice out. This is the calf barn, I'm sure you've all seen it before. Everybody's in individual pens. Hi, cutie. Hi, cutie. So many cuties. I'm gonna open the other end. This is the view outside. Uh, here's our milk room. We recently expanded it within the last couple of years. You can see the milk is pasteurizing. It's at 143 degrees right now. We want it to be down at 106. Here's the calendar they have. No JoJo. Hmm. I wanted to come back. Alright, so the story of what happened to my aunt and aka why I get the blessing of feeding these calves. Basically, she was trying to in my hair, get a down cow up, and a down cow is a cow that can't get up. For whatever reason, they're not feeling good. Um, yeah, or they fell. Either way, she was trying to get a down cow up, more than 100 was her number, and she was by herself, she was trying to push it up, and the cow like whipped back around and crushed on top of her leg and broke her tibia. And she was literally the toughest cookie ever because she didn't even go to urgent care until the next day, and she was walking around on her broken leg. Like, I don't think you'd catch me doing that, but... That just explains who she is. She's awesome. But anyway, she's so awesome and I'm missing her a lot because she obviously does a lot around her farm, so I've been taking up her jobs and JoJo's jobs. Well, they're both gone. But either way, we got it handled here. And that's the story of how my aunt broke her leg because of a cow. And I don't know if you saw my cow in the last video. Cows are 10 times more deadly than sharks. Here's some cute. Don't they look really deadly? Ooh. Ooh, you're so perfect. And this is our newest one right there. Snow is finally melting. And I am going to start with our bull barn. <coughs> you guys made a mess. Look at this pen of jerseys. But these are the steers we're raising for the butcher. So we're gonna eat these. That's Billy. 
Hi. They're really nice. But this is just where we keep the weaned. Oh my god. Don't mind your cat problem. Clearly it's a problem. Oh my god, I wonder why they keep coming back. It's so weird. It's so weird. Now I'm gonna feed water and I'm gonna bed later because I have to wait for a new bell. As you can see, there's none left. I don't know if it's just me, but I could watch babies, baby babies all day. They're just so cute. Oh yeah, and just like Claudia's equipment video of things we're selling around the farm, we actually are selling some of these. Like those steers, we need somebody to buy a whole steer. It will be already butchered, but if you want a whole butchered steer, hit us up. And this jersey needs a home to make some nice beef. Hey, sorry. For real, if you want one. Let us know, because they make really tasty meat. They're Angus, and then Jersey, obviously. So here's what everyone looks like fed. I have to do the bedding in. Um, my cousin Alice loves bringing down the bells, so I told her she can do it. But everybody is content. You happy? Now I'm gonna go through and empty out the grain. We empty out the grain every day. So they always have fresh grain. Just grab this blue bucket and head on down. Boom. And repeat the process. All right, so this is our milk taxi. Um, it's all pasteurized milk. This whole thing pasteurizes it for us. Um, it's pretty sweet. It's at 102 degrees right now. Perfect, perfect temperature. And I want to see a full look at it. Yeah, hoses. This is what cools down the system and helps pasteurize it. If you are looking into one of these, I highly recommend. I've worked on two farms that have it, and they are amazing. And it's self propelled. There's Sometimes it's hard to get over mumps, especially with one hand. And since I'm not used to it right now, I'm gonna take this with me. It's a little cheat code. So here's how this goes, all right? Based on the clip color, that's what they get. So this one's gold, and that means she gets a number two. Is past it. I'm take this off. Oh. And go. Really simple. And it works great. So they're kind of mad at me right now. Even though I'm feeding them a half hour early. Can't tell you why they're mad at me. But um, some of them are knocking out their buckets and being little delinquents. So some of them are being angels like this baby. Whoop. Eventually it stops, see?
I just got done feeding all the babies. Now I just have this little cutie left. She has to be pale trained. Um, cows, to, calves don't come out of the mom knowing how to drink milk from a bucket. So we teach them now, um, just cause it works really well. They're set up. Wow, you're so cool. <laughs> She'll drink it all by herself. And we just flashed the camera, silly. Now I'm feeding our special needs calf, Roger. I think he's a little blind. Um, he's really small. He's walking a lot better than he was. So we just uh, treat him a little extra special and give him a bottle every night instead of a pail. And he's doing a lot better. It's the best thing I could get because I have nowhere to set my phone. Bottle feeding, Raji boy. I think we actually have a YouTube fan named Roger, so maybe I named him after you. And we drain the milk out because it's waste milk anyways. And clean it out. Apparently it's really pretty out here. Look at that, it's like cotton candy. That's Missouri the cat, she has like 800 toes. Before I end my night, I'm gonna go let Claudia's dog out because Aiden won't be here for a little bit. And I don't want her to be. You ripped up your tongue. Hi, bud. You're like, oh my God. <laughs> Come on, let's go. But that was pretty much my um, night, I would say. I didn't really record the end of my night because I was sad about Roger, but hopefully everything I did it's going to help him get better. Um, thanks for watching, guys. Appreciate you watching.